20 facts about boomsday packs. Hello friends. I'm very glad to see you all. I have collected all of the main information, statistics, and poll results, then use them to conduct mathematical calculations in one place. I hope this information will help you make a decision about buying the pre-order, or at least, help you learn something new. I will be grateful if you like this video. So, the Boomstay project is planned to be released on August 7th. The set contains 135 new collectible cards. Each class will get two legendary cards, with one of them being a legendary spell. Warrior will be the only class getting a new playable hero card. The card is named Dr. Boom Mad Genius. Each class will receive two epics, three rares, and three commons. Matches are returning, and we are getting the new magnetic keyword, as well as project and omega cards. Only three classes will receive cards with the magnetic keyword. These classes are Warrior, Paladin, and Hunter. Projects are new spell cards with extremely powerful effects, but they help both players. Omega cards. These cards are normal, but have a battle cree that only works when you have 10 mana crystals. For as long. As the Boomstay project is the latest expansion, the guaranteed card pack from each arena run will be from the expansion. Once the next expansion comes out, second card packs will have a chance to be the Boomstay packs. The highest rank bonus chest has a chance to award gold and the Boomstay project cards. With the Boomstay release, all players will get 3 free packs and a class legendary minion for logging in. There are two different ways to pre-purchase the expansion. You can buy both if you wish. The Boomstay normal pre-order. 50 packs for the price of 40. And the Boomstay mega bundle pre-order. 80 packs for the price of 69. You face Mecha Jaraxxus! Four months ago, on average 26% of players pre-ordered the Witchwood. Now, on average 39% of players will make the Boomstay pre-order. I think, in the future we will see more alternative hero skins for pre-order. Your arrogance will be your undoing! Let us take a look at your chances of getting valuable cards. In the first 10 Boomsday packs, you guaranteed will receive one legendary card. The officially announced drop rates from Blizzard are legendary, on average one card, for every 20 packs. Epic, on average one card, for every 5 packs. And do not forget about Pity Timer, if you have bad luck. An epic card will be opened within 10 packs, after the last opened epic, for that set. A legendary card will be opened within 40 packs after the last opened legendary for that set. Let's talk about money. So, if you will buy a normal pre-order, two legendary cards are guaranteed in case you are very unlucky. The first legendary card you will get in the first 10 packs and the second in the next 40 packs. But in most situations you'll get 3 legendaries. On average, the first card you'll get in the first 10 packs, the second in the next 20 packs, and the last one in in the next 20 packs. Maybe you'll get more luck, and open 4 or more legendaries. The same for the mega bundle. Be attentive, in case of bad luck, you get only 2 legendary cards. 2 legendary cards for $80, not a wonderful result. And the same statistics, if you want to buy both pre-orders. If you get more luck, you get 8 or more legendaries. Think twice before you pre-order. As for me in most cases, I'm an unlucky bot. When I opened the Witchwood packs, I got only 4 legendaries from 108 packs.
Let's look at the chances to get your favorite legendary card. For example, Flobbed in a Sloop. With 3 class legendary minion, for logging in 11%. With legendary guaranteed, in the first 10 packs 5%. With next 20 packs, 9%. With next 20 packs, 14%. So, the chances to get flobbed in a sloop with 50 pre-order packs is 14%. The chances to it get with the 80 mega pre-order packs is 18%. According to my data, only 4% of players open more than 200 packs, 25% of players open more than 100 packs. On average, each player opens 48 packs. As for me, I plan to open 110 packs. And what about you? How many packs are you planning to open on the release day? Write you answer for statistics in the comments. The first new current revealed cards impress the community more than cards from other sets. The whole Boom's Day card collection will cost more than 69,000 dust. That cannot be done! Opening 100 packs from the Boom's Day is roughly equivalent to obtaining 75% of the collection cards in the set. But, if you consider the percentage of an expansion in dust and not in number of cards, with 100 packs you get only the 40% of collection. If you buy 100 packs, then on average, each pack is worth 118 dust. You need to buy 250 packs to collect the full card set. You need to spend 25,000 gold or $270 to collect the full collection. More facts you can find in another video. Oh no. Dr. Boom is back. Your time is up! No. I'll wipe you from the timeline! <laughs> Toki. You must leave immediately. I can't do that! No. We're not leaving you here. I will stall it. For as long as I can. You can't possibly win! <laughs> You must return to the past, and finish what you started. Let's get this over with! No. Tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> and finally, the results of the vote from last video. The question was, do you think you are lucky, or not? So, are you a free to play, Hearthstone player, or not? I created a new YouTube poll. Find the button on the screen. Vote and tell me your answer in the comments. Here are the most popular comments from the last video. Thank you for your activity. Perhaps you will find something interesting here. Here are some suggestions. Job's done. <laughs>